Hey there, Bikeaholics. You're probably here because you purchased a Schuberth SRC Bluetooth communication system for your Schuberth helmet. And you want to know everything you need to know about how to use this particular system. You've definitely come to the right place, so stay tuned. Thanks for checking back in. Ryan Erlacher with lawabidingbiker.com. I'm holding a Schuberth C3 modular helmet. I did a complete review tutorial, everything you need to know about this helmet over at lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Schuberth C3. It is the lightest, strongest, and quietest modular on the market. Um, so head over there and check that out. You'll see a lot of videos on YouTube. They'll talk about the Schuberth SRC system, but they won't go into detail on it. All they'll show you is simply how to replace the neck roll. They won't get into the technical aspects and actually how to use the system. That's what I'm going to do for you today. Everything from, it has an AM FM built in, uh, radio, you, there's got presets. You can pair it with your smartphone so that you can listen to your tunes via Bluetooth. It's got a three-way communication system. You can talk to a passenger, other bikers. It's got a lot of functionality. And uh, like I said, I'm going to break it down in this video for you guys. Of course, the Schuberth uh, SRC system replaces the stock neck roll. Simply goes right in there. It's got a plastic spine around it. And uh, that plastic spine just simply pops. You can just push it right into place around the helmet. It's super simple. You'll find a lot of videos on that. Everybody wants you to show you how easy it is in to install, but nobody wants to get into the technical aspects. Uh, that's what I'm here for, your high-tech redneck, to show you how to do that. Um, but anyways, if you want to know, basically it's got two speakers uh, on it. Of course, it's got the neck roll, and then it's got, uh, you can see in the picture, there are two speakers. And it's very simple. Again, just head over to my uh, uh, video that I did on this helmet. I show you how to take the neck roll out and you just pop the cheek panels back. There's a little compartment back there. It's made for this thing. It's made for the speakers. You put a little Velcro that comes with the kit. You stick them in there and, uh, and you put the neck roll in and that's, that's as easy as it is. So we're not going to get into that too much. Um, I do like the SRC system. Um, it's awesome because it's made for this helmet. It was, uh, they paired up with Cardo Schuberth did with Cardo uh, communication systems and made this neck roll that only works with the Schuberth helmet. So I like it. You don't have a big box like some of them hanging off the side. You see those big chatter boxes and stuff like that. Not that they're bad systems, just I don't like that. I like this very clean integrated system with a neck roll. Just super, super pleased with this. So with that said, what comes in the kit, you'll get your nice Schuberth uh, SRC system. And uh, here's some of the things that, it, of course, it comes with a neck roll. I told you that with the speakers. It's all one unit right there. Uh, in, in our kit here, we'll take a look. And this is what you should be getting, of course, instructions. You can throw those out. Go ahead and burn those. That's what I'm here for. Uh, comes in a nice little box here. It's got the, right here, it's got the charger. And it plugs right into a wall, and it's got a little uh, mini USB, so to speak. In the back of the neck roll is a little port, and you can plug that in, plug it into a wall, and it charges it. Just so you know, if you're going to move along in the video with me as we go through this, you'll want to charge this fully for the first time. It takes about four hours before you start messing with it. That's what they recommend. Um, so that's what comes in the kit. And then it also has another little connector if you don't want to use Bluetooth. So I run my iPhone. I hook it up via Bluetooth so it's wireless and it communicates with the SRC. Uh, it does have this that comes in the kit. And basically what it is, if you don't have Bluetooth, you have an older MP3 player or you can't get it to pair for whatever reason, if your software isn't up to date, it just plugs in the mini uh, 3.5 port there. And uh, then this plugs again right into the port coming out of the SRC and you can listen to your music with this, throw this in your pocket, whatever you want, and you don't even need Bluetooth connectivity for that. So that's another thing that comes in the kit. And then it comes with, of course, the SRC system has a boom, so to speak, boom mic, and uh, that's for communications and voice activation for your phone. You can actually tell it to dial a number and we're gonna get into that, don't worry. It comes with a couple extra little foam 
deals windscreens, uh, pop filters basically, windscreens to uh, minimize the wind noise uh, in your helmet. But anyways, that is some of the things that your box and your kit should come with. And with that said, why don't you uh, come on in a little closer and we'll take a look and get down and dirty with how this thing operates. All right, here we are. Let's rock and roll with the Schuberth SRC system. So you see some buttons here. You've got B button, uh, or A button, excuse me. You've got a phone button and B button. Mostly the A and B are used for intercoms, for talking to other riders. They do have secondary functionalities, of course. Same with the phone button. That's also your power on off. Um, and then you've got the plus and minus uh, for volume up and down. And of course they have other functionalities too. The way you power this unit on is simply push down and hold for four seconds on the phone button. All right, you heard the little audible tone. You'll also note that these are flashing now. This is what's called in standby mode, power on. All right, the first thing you probably wanna do is pair your phone via Bluetooth so you can listen to music wirelessly through your speakers in the, the uh, system here. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, turn the, uh, or go to settings, and I'm gonna turn Bluetooth on to make sure that my Bluetooth is on on my phone. Then I can simply push and hold the phone button for six seconds. I'm gonna push in and hold down till I get an audible tone. All right, you heard the audible tone. You now see these are flashing very, very rapidly. It's in Bluetooth pair mode. You see SRCS, I'm gonna push on it. And if you get a pin code and ask for it, it's stock, it's zero, 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 zero. I'm gonna push the pair button. All right, you now see it's connected um, so now my phone is connected via Bluetooth. Mobile phone connected. And you also got internally in the speaker, she told us that it's connected, so now you can listen to music and it'll play through the speakers inside the helmet. You hear that there? I don't want to play too much because of copyright on YouTube, but uh, that is playing. So if we're playing a song, I'll show you some of the other functionalities within here. So now this is paired, obviously. We're going to play. If I want to advance a song, I'm going to push and hold the plus button. And it advanced songs there. All right. Again, I don't want to play too much music. Uh, but so plus, you just push the plus or the minus button and hold it for three seconds. It advances through your playlist. The way you pause or start a song is the A button right here. I'm going to push and hold for three seconds. and it starts playing, and I push and hold another three seconds on the A button, so you get the tone, let go. That stops and starts your music. All right, so now that's connected. We can listen to all our fancy music through there. That's great. You can also take phone calls, and uh, I can also activate a phone call. So um, the way you activate a phone call is uh, you simply push here while you're riding down the road, the phone button once real quick. You can see it. Activate Siri, call Nydia iPhone. And obviously. Sorry, I didn't get that. Anyways, I'm not talking into this directly, but you get the hint. I could say call my wife, whatever. It activates the call and it goes through. And then I've actually tested it going down the freeway at 80 miles an hour at least. And she says she can't even tell me I'm on my motorcycle. This mic is so quiet up in the Schuberth helmet. You wanted to make sure and talk into the flat side. Right here, it's got a little blue dot. You don't want to have it sideways. You actually want your voice going in here. And that is the voice activation. And that's, uh, obviously if you're going down the road, let's talk about phone calls a little bit, um, a little bit more, but that, if you hear it ringing, uh, you know, in the speakers and you have a phone call incoming, you can simply, uh, uh, technically with the Vox, you can uh, just say, answer the phone or hello or something like that, and it should pick it up doesn't always work, I'll tell you that right now. I haven't found, I had very good luck with that. So the way you can reach up and accept a call is just reach up, push the phone button. It will now answer the call and you can talk wirelessly via Bluetooth on the call on your phone to hang up, push once. If you were driving down the road and you heard ringing and you wanted to decline a call and you didn't want to accept it, you could just remain silent, uh, wait for the call to stop ringing or reach up and hold the phone button for three seconds. Uh, that's kind of the phone functionality. I talked about Vox a little bit uh, Vox default is set on on this particular system. And what I mean by that, that allows me to talk and activate calls and do all that kind of stuff. If you want to turn it on or off, just make sure you're in the standby mode, which means the power's on like it is now. And then you can just push and hold the plus and minus button for three seconds. You'll hear an audible tone. That would get rid of that Vox capability. And then 
Uh, obviously, you could still do a phone call, but you couldn't initiate a phone call and uh, you couldn't answer a phone call by saying, answer the phone while you're going down the road. It would get rid of that capability and that's how you do that. So that's just a little bit about uh, obviously pairing your phone, listening to your tunes, uh, advancing, play pause with the A button, um, your volume up and down. I'll mention that real quick. Obviously, the volume up and down is whether you have a phone call or whether you're listening to music. It, it, you can adjust it right here. And the way you adjust it is just push once, you hear a tone, push again, you hear a tone. It goes up and down, it gets louder. There's a different tone when you get to the top range where it can't go any higher. You'll definitely know when you're at the top range. I have no problems going down the road listening to music plenty loud. I never even turn it all the way up, even on the freeway at 80 plus miles an hour or whatever. I still don't even turn it up all the way. So uh, it's very, very loud, plenty loud uh, for going down the road and listen to your tunes. Um, so anyways, that's pretty much it about phone calls and uh, works real great and, you know, syncing and, and Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff. All right, briefly, this also has the capability, of course, we connected it to our phone. It all has the capability of connecting to a GPS unit, an external GPS unit. The way that works is you just want to be in standby mode. You turn your GPS unit on, make sure it's discoverable via Bluetooth. Every model's different. Um, and you make sure it's in standby mode. You push your plus button for six seconds and uh, that puts it in pairing mode. These will start flashing. Then you make sure your GPS is in pairing mode. You pair them however that works with your external GPS device. And then the helmet is paired with your GPS de device so you can hear turn by turn navigation. Um, obviously, if you were just using turn by turn on your phone and you didn't have an external GPS, whatever's on your phone, you're going to hear through this. So, you know, a lot of people are just using their phones for um, GPS navigation. All right. So, one thing I do want to tell you is that if you're going to pair your phone. You don't want to pair your phone and the GPS device. So this paired with two units, it's going to fight. It's not made for that. So you want to pair this with your external GPS device, the SRC system. And then if you also want to accept and make calls and do all that other stuff, the phone gets paired with your GPS device. So, so basically, you know, the Schubert uh, C, uh, SRC system is paired with your GPS and then your GPS is paired with your phone and through your GPS you can operate your phone. It's, it's kind of a three-way system, but that's the way if you want to make that work that you've got to do. I will tell you that you want to definitely have your phone handy. You still don't want to, you know, technically throw it in a pocket. There are certain times, and the best way to do that is mount it to your handlebars with the biker gripper system, of course, that we have available exclusively in the Law Abiding Biker store. Just go to lawabidingbiker.com slash store, and you can mount this thing to your handlebars, chrome, black, metric, Harley, uh, control mount, handlebar mount. We've got all kinds of options over there. We've got videos to show you guys that it is the strongest, sexiest, sleekest uh, cell phone motorcycle mount on the market. We highly recommend it. We actually stamped our logo on it. We liked it, liked it so much. So the reason you'll want to have your phone handy is because a lot sometimes Technically, this has got a hierarchy. So basically, if a phone call comes in or a comm, if another biker's talking to you, the music's going to fade out. Of course, second is the intercom. And then if you have a phone call, it overrides everything. And it's supposed to, if you're playing music, once you're done with your phone call, pick the music back up. It doesn't always happen. And you have to reach up and push play. Also, when you're uh, initially starting the music, you'll want to look at your music and then push play here to get it playing in here. Then you can stop and pause it. Uh, with the A button like I showed you, of course, and you can uh, skip forward and back with the plus and minus button, but it doesn't always pick back up. And so I also find on trips, it's easier to have this up on your handlebars and it's easier just to scroll through my music on here and push play um, instead of trying to skip one song at a time. I can just go to a different album. So still, I would definitely want my phone and mine is and my biker gripper right up on my handlebars available. So that's kind of the hierarchy. Uh, it is built in so that, uh, like I say, you're not hearing music, phone call, and intercom all at once. It's got that, that system. I will tell you also, something you'll want to know, this can lock up at times. It has. It's, it's infrequent, but I did have some problems at one point um, with the Bluetooth, and it was playing through this. Even though it said it was paired still, it was still playing music through the speakers on my phone, and I couldn't hear it through here. Uh, even though it said it was connected, it was odd. Anyways, if you have any Bluetooth connectivity problems or the system's locked up or anything, you just need to do a simple reset. And the way you do that is in standby mode. Of course, that's just power on. You simply hold this button right here, the phone button, for six seconds. 
and you'll get the pairing like it's ready to pair via Bluetooth like we've already done. And then you just push and hold the plus button on the volume for three seconds. You'll see some really uh, solid purple lights, like four, I think, and then it goes back and forth. That basically sets this thing back to factory, gets rid of any communication systems you had paired with it, any Bluetooth devices, puts it back just like it's out of the box. And then you can go through the sequence of re-establishing that Bluetooth co connection with your phone, and that uh, fixed the problem for me. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. If you want to make sure that content and these free videos keep coming your way, there is a way you can support us. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. The community is growing over there. We'd like to have you involved too. Um, there's no risk over there. You can sign up for a certain level um, and pay a certain amount per piece of content with a cap. Absolutely no risk. There are some benefits over there. Um, T-shirts and a private Facebook group and some premium content. All depends on what level you sign up as. But that is a way that you can assure the content keeps coming your way. Lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Of course, if you ever want to just leave a flat donation, we do accept that too and appreciate it. Lawabidingbiker.com slash donate. Don't forget to check out that weekly podcast, guys. It's on fire. A ton of content we're putting out. Get involved over there. It's a Law Abiding Biker podcast. All right, let's get back into your video. All right, let's go through the comms real quick. And that's what your A and B button is used for uh, mostly is. So this can pair up to uh, two other helmets. So you can have three total, this one and two other riders that you want to communicate with up to about a thousand feet distance. They say it about 10 hours talk time on a charged battery within the SRC system. Of course, the port there is where you can charge it. I showed you guys that earlier. It's got your plug in and uh, your mini USB plug it right into the wall. This plugs in here and you charge the system. You'll want to charge it, of course, before you start messing with it right out of the box, get it all charged up. Um, but anyways, what you do is you get your other helmet or the other rider stand next to you. What you both do is uh, what I do first on my helmet is push the A button and I hold it down for six seconds. Once I hold it down for six seconds in some pairing mode, you're going to see some flashes. I take the other helmet do the same, the other Cardo system. Again, it doesn't have to just be the SRC system. It can be a Cardo system because they're the ones that make this. So you can pair with other Cardo systems. Once you do that for six seconds, it's flashing. You do that with the other device that you want to pair with. And then once they're both in that pairing mode, they pair and you can talk away. Then what I would do is grab the other writer that I wanted to communicate. I would do that with the B button, hold it down for six seconds. And once I held it for six seconds and it's flashing, I would do the other helmet, the other rider, and then those would pair in that way. I could talk to two other riders and I could have that three-way communication system, so to speak. So that's what that is. There's also a built-in, I'll talk about it really quick. It's called a click to link. So basically that's a social kind of thing with other bikers. If you don't know a biker, um, even you could pull up in an intersection and you could see if he had a Cardo system and you could click to link. And the way you click to link is just grab your A button and double tap and that if the other rider has his uh, cardo system on he'll hear some ringing in his ears uh, from the speakers and then he can reach up and hit his a button and now you can two can talk and hey how, how's your day going or whatever um, i don't know how much that is, is used but that is a click to link now that doesn't matter that you have your other two bikers you're talking to they actually built in a basic secret third channel within the src system and within that third channel you could still talk to your other two friends and then you could click to link with that other biker. Um, so again, double tap, that's click to link to see if there's any other bikers listening. If they do it to you, you'll get some ringing and uh, you can either accept, you can either voice Vox and say, you know, hello, or just remain silent. If you don't wanna answer it, it will go away. Or if you wanna answer it manually and you hear ringing from a click to link, you can just reach up and you can hit the A button and that will accept the click to link and you can talk to the, that other biker. So I did wanna mention that functionality, but as far as Communicating, that's pretty much it um, when it comes to pairing up. It's really, really easy. And again, three bikers uh, at a time in, in the loop and uh, about a thousand feet range is what they say. Um, as far as the battery goes, you know, 10 hours talk time, they say. I'm still testing. I don't know how long it lasts when you're playing a lot of music and that kind of stuff um, through here, but again, charging port there. But um, I'm still testing that, but it still seems to last quite a while. And uh, um, you know, just kind of depend on, you know, how many phone calls and things, how long this battery is going to last. All right, real quick, we're going to talk about the FM radio that's built in. I hate FM radio, tons of commercials, same music, boring, haven't listened to it in years. I prefer podcasts and I'm probably a little biased, but Law Abiding Biker podcast right there, guys, in iTunes, that's right. 
sounds awesome podcast right through the system with the speakers, but it does have a built-in radio system. And uh, the way you turn the radio system on, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do this quickly, guys, because believe it or not, YouTube is super sensitive about copyright music, even though I'm not meaning to do it, but you're going to hear some music in the helmet. I want to be, it's going to be, I'm going to try to get through this fairly quick and I'm going to turn it to staticky stations so they don't pick that up. The way you turn your radio on is uh, simply once it's in standby mode, press and hold the B button for three seconds. You heard the beat, now you hear the music. I'm going to push the B until I get static. I'm turning the volume down. The reason I did that is, again, I don't want YouTube to pick up on copyright infringement, but the B, all I did, that's your presets. I was pushing the B, and each one goes through six presets you have so that you can have six presets, and just each time you turn it on again, hold it for three seconds, turn the radio on, turn it off, hold it another three seconds, it turns off, and then once it's on, you can just push B. It advances through one at a time through those six presets. So how do we set the presets? All right, so I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit, and I'm going to let you listen. We've got static, but I'm going to push, and you're going to hear how many beats, and that tells you which preset it's on. That was four, five, six. Now it's going to go back to one. And I'm going to hold for three seconds, and I'm turning the radio off so you don't have to deal with that. All right, so that's how you do that. So I'm going to turn the radio back on. Three seconds. I'm going to turn this way down. I'm going to hit B to a static station so we don't get nailed there. So that's on three. You heard three beats. So the way you do this, it's very, very simple. Um, you push the B button, get to the preset you want. So you can start with one beat and then push it again. There's two beats, three beats, and so on. I'll get it. It's on three right now because it's a station. I don't have a preset, obviously. So it, I know it just did three beats, so I know it's on preset three. So all I do now to advance to seek stations, you just push and hold either plus or minus to go forward or back. I'm going to hold plus for three seconds. It found a station. Within 20 seconds, I push the B. Now that's in preset number three. I push B again. I'm going to push it again. So that was six beeps. I want to put another preset in six in spot six. Again, hold the plus. Seek to a station. Within 20 or within 20 seconds, push the B, and it's preset. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. So we don't have to listen to that. So there you go. And once you have that all set up, then it's as simple as powering on and uh, hitting through your six presets. So that's the AM FM radio. All right, additionally on the FM radio, there's what's called RDS, that's Radio Data System Technology. And thanks to RDS feature, your headset will automatically select the strongest signal available for the FM station you wish to listen to, no matter where you are riding. This allows you to leave your hands on the handlebars at all times with no need to adjust the radio station frequency while you are in motion. All right, and so the RDS is on. Um, and uh, basically, it's in default, it's off, I should say. So basically, if you want it to just always try to pick that strongest station um, or strongest signal for the station you're on, the way you activate RDS is simply, and mine isn't on, so I'm going to turn it on, is you've obviously in standby mode power on, is you just push and hold um, actually while the radio's on. So we actually have to turn the radio on, hold that for three seconds. The radio's on. I'm just going to, I just went through our stat, our preset station so I could get static because of YouTube. And then once you, so your radio is on, then you just push and hold these for three seconds, your plus and minus. There you go. You saw the lights flash and everything. Now it's in RDS mode. Also wanted to show you guys briefly, um, this is the charging port, of course. And the way I have that is it's just it just hangs out like that. All I do to keep it real nice is there's a little pocket right in here uh, in the SRC, you know, neck roll, so to speak here. I just kind of double it up like so. And then I stuff it in there 
So when I'm riding, it's not dangling around. I just shove the rest of the cord, kind of runs down the back of the neck there. That kind of keeps that out of the way. All right, don't forget, uh, I do want to talk real quickly. They do have a website, um, Shoeworth does, for the this particular SRC system. It's, it's not very intuitive. Um, they say uh, in the original instructions that they're going to have software updates for this system firmware, which would be nice, um, PC only. And that's a big failure as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they should have Mac support. But I got on their site anyways, and I don't see that they have any updates available whatsoever. I did register the device. Um, so if there's any, you know, updates or maybe they'll email me uh, and your serial numbers on the neck roll on the SRC system on the inside and the back, there's a tag with it. You need that to register it. That's all I could do online is register it. So I'm not even going to show you that. Um, you can go to their SRC. It's in your instructions and go to their website and see what you want to do. But the way you would do that if they ever do have a software update, obviously, is you've got your data cable, obviously this plugs into the wall, and you've got a USB for your computer, and then this goes into the port, and whatever that process would be. Obviously, if at some point they do come out with a software update that I'm aware of, and maybe I just didn't find it, but um, I will do an updated video uh, for you guys showing you how to download and hook your uh, SRC system up to the computer and get that new firmware update uh, in this thing. So with that said, that is it, man, and hopefully that made it easy for you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, now you can go out and uh, just throw the instructions away. We showed you how to do it. That's the functionality of the thing. All right, guys, ride safe. Peace out. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys, so get subscribed. Also, sign up for the free email club, lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also, do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.